Hey everyone, today let's have a look at a crowd favorite, Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. Very exciting company. They do exciting things. They do good things. Uh, the stock here, for a historical perspective, is getting a little bit rich. Uh, multiples are quite something. Price to sales, uh, price to earnings uh, on the forward-looking basis or uh, at uh, records. But um, let's look at the chart here for a little bit of perspective. So first of all, when uh, the ticker symbol is PLTR, and I think what's really interesting here when you look at PLTR is a very simple measure that I uh, like to use and it historically has uh, served me well to respect this. And I'm going to go literally just back to one data point and, and, prove, <clears throat> and prove a point. So typically speaking, certain, uh, you know, every stock has its own volatility. And so as a stock gets uh, X percentage above or below, uh, major moving average that, that people and algorithms follow, like for example, a 200 day moving average, 200 day moving average is actually not that important, but uh, in, in sort of for price perspective, a lot of the times, but it's important because, because a lot of people follow it, right? So there's sort of, you know, a different way of looking at it, but let's um, look at the chart a bit more closely. And uh, I want to go back to one data point that I think is quite interesting. So if you go back to um, the summer of 23, so summer of of, of not this year, but the year before 2023, um, at one point, the stock was trading uh, roughly about 50% uh, above its 200-day uh, its moving average. That's this uh, red line on your screen. Um, and basically, at that point, the stock didn't fall apart. And that's not my call here. But uh, notice that the stock ended up struggling for really until February of 24. So, you know, that's a long time for a stock to basically go sideways. Um, and I think we're probably at a pretty similar spot right now. So I would want to be a little bit careful here. Uh, let's do the math again. So right now the stock is currently trading um, just about 50% above its 200 period moving average. So uh, here too, I would expect the stock to, to most likely go at least sideways um, if not down. And, and again, we have the year on dynamics here. We have to be aware of, uh, that's something I think to keep in mind, but, <clears throat> uh, broadly speaking, this sort of 50% above its 200 day moving average measured from the top. I think that's typically a pretty good spot to be uh, a little bit careful about a stock. So anyway, hope it helps and we'll see you again soon.